we are uh, driving out to the Okefenokee Swamp, and we're going to set up camp in the new uh, camp setup. We got the new rack on the back. We showed up after hours here at the boathouse. And so you just check in, walk in, you find your camp spot, and then you come back before 11 the next day. But here's all the boats you can rent here in the marina. We got tour boats and everything else. They also do single and tandem kayaks. There's a nature trail. We're not gonna do the nature trail tonight. That would probably be a bad idea. But here's the, uh, boat rules and everything else so so this is pretty important they've got the uh, alligator aware so don't feed the alligators fed gator is a dead gator so there's the new moon it's at 99.4 percent this way there's a rise belt so they've got a lot of campsites here with one through 26 so when we uh come to these campgrounds late at night, it's always an adventure to find a good campsite. And there's one right there, unoccupied. What we want to do is make sure we can find one with a fire pit. Number two is taken. Got a sea kayak. Four has a comfort station with it. Oh, that's your showers and everything. Three, five. Wow, there's a lot of campers out here for uh, for this time of year. So 
this is one thing I love about the Rubicon. It tells you your pitch and roll. And with the uh, tent on the back, everything's pretty much level. So we should be good here. So here's the camp set up. New rack, we got the uh, pop-up uh, bathroom if we need it. Got a cooler over here, fire pit right here. So set up camp real quick. Just in a sec. Slept in Taj my tent last night with the heater going. Ended up cooking us out, so we shut it off. Give y'all a quick little tour. Got the heater over here, pumping in the tent. Inside, that's the North Face sleeping bag. It's like a king size bed with a queen size sleeping bag. So. Pretty nice. So here's breakfast. We got pancakes, egg scramble. Uh, we got the Jeep set up with the CVT tent and the heater. Got the uh, stove behind it. Good times. Fun appetite. We ate breakfast. We settled up with the campground and we headed out to the nature trail. Check out the boardwalk. Uh, that's the same nature trail we saw last night at the marina. Uh, it goes back in the woods and it's got a long loop as well as a long boardwalk that just kind of dead ends and we saw all kinds of neat tree stumps some things called cypress knees as well as a gator Swamp for about 20 years. So this looks a lot like a bumblebee, but this is actually a carpenter bee and they burrow into the wood fascias on a lot of houses. So after completing the tour of the nature trail, we headed back out to the main highway, which heads from 
west to east and you actually dip down into Florida and then we headed up to the eastern part of the park and we went around the scenic drive up there now there's lots of boat put in so if you want to go take a John boat or if you want to go take a kayak and go for a day trip you could easily paddle through the Okefenokee Swamp and I've got lots of friends who've gone camping and kayaking there we saw this gator and he was actually tagged as well as several turtles on the scenic drive. We saw these mushrooms along the drive and we stopped to check them out and they actually look like something straight out of the Smurfs or out of Mario Brothers. They're pretty big. And these are wild mushrooms so I do not recommend eating them. Hi guys, so we are now at the Cheshire Island Homestead and we're gonna take a quick tour down in the Okefenokee Swamp. Uh, this is kind of a scouting trip. Uh, we're gonna plan to bring a kayak down here at some later point and do some kayaking through the swamp. So here's the old Cypress log home. Supposedly it cost $200 to build back in the 1920s. As you can see, Cypress, it's really kind of endangered wood, but it holds up really, really well over time. As you can see, there's the, the grinder for either sugar cane or corn or flour, whatever you want to grind, just hook your horse up to it and go around in circles. Walk the horse all day. And then they'd cook the syrup over here in this. Take the firewood in there, heat it up till it boils, extracts and condense and caramelizes a little. And that's how they would make a, a syrup. And then right here it says, Took them three to four hours to make five to six gallons. So days worth of work for five to six gallons worth of syrup. Here's the garden. There's the chicken yard. There's the boiling pots, hog pen. So if you were a homesteader back in the 1900s, this was a way of life. Here you can see the cane growing right here. Pretty neat. So when it came to your meats, they would hang the meat up here in the smokehouse by the fire. And it still smells smoky, but they would smoke the meat. And that's how they would take and preserve it. So that's why you got a lot of country ham, smoked ham, things like that. Over here is a storage shed where you would pickle all your food for the winter. Of course, it's 70 in February, so you didn't have to have anything major. There's no telling how long that stuff's been pickled, left on the shelf for. I bet you you could open it up and eat it. That's pretty neat. Yeah, some of this is newer, but some of these are definitely older. Those old ball containers right there, mason jars. Atlas mason jars, all kinds of stuff. Where's this one down here? Yeah, we got a long mason jar. Old jars in there. Pretty neat. Pretty neat stuff. So here's their hollow log well here. This one here, of course, has been capped off. Ideally, you could take a hollow log, put it way down in the ground dig out the sand and then the water would percolate into the well. That and one of the best filters you can use is a sand filter. And then there's a grinding stone if you need to sharpen your ax. Pretty neat stuff. Old homestead. Look at this. It's beautiful. Heart of Cypress. Here's the bathtub. Right here. I cleaned up from working all day old clawfoot tub. Now, if you're worried about invaders, you live in the swamp. That's what you can find outside your house. It's a big stink bug right there. They'll scream at you if you get too close. Ever seen the movie Starship Troopers? It's like the big bugs. Except here's the size of my hand compared to that bug. Thanks huge. Well, they have a photo on the wall. Cool. 
Yeah, and the stove in the back. I'm gonna go check out the last part of the house. So those are gourds. I don't know if you've ever seen a gourd before. A lot of people may have, but they're grown. They're in the squash family. I believe those are actually fake. Yeah, you can see those are fake. But you take a gourd, you hollow it out, you drill a hole in it, and you can use it as a bird feeder. But those are definitely uh, not original gourds because somebody's uh, put those together. And here's a corn crib. There's a little buggy over here, so if you need to go to town, hook up the mules. Go see the neighbor. Got the buggy out there. And here's a wagon over here when you're working in the fields. And as you can see here, there's a harness for you to hook up your horses. The next up is the Chester Island Boardwalk, three quarter miles to the tower. We'll go take a look over at the tower and a one and a half round trip. So get some steps in. Should be a good time. There's Ruby. So that's a nice boardwalk. Kind of weird seeing the uh, valve in the middle of nowhere for water supply. This is nice. This is all weather tech decking. Park Service put some money into this deck. It'll last for years. These are some of those carnivorous plants, I believe. We saw a sign back at the uh, other station. They said that they had them through here. Basically, the bug crawls in, it closes and devours it. Let's go to the top here. Four levels. First level. Second level.
guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you would, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and keep coming back for more. For early access, check us out over on TikTok and Instagram. Once again, you guys get to come along for the ride, and I get to share my dream with you. The true purpose of this channel is to help motivate, inspire, and inform you guys so you can get out there and start building your dream.